There was a big announcement last night from Microsoft for Surface Pro X owners. But when I say it was a big announcement, well, you could be forgiven for missing it altogether. It was kind of buried in Panos Panay's latest blog post on the Windows blog. About halfway down the page, you'll see a statement about expanding Windows support for the Qualcomm Snapdragon or ARM processors that are in devices like the Surface Pro X. Now this update will give them the ability to run apps that were written for Intel 64-bit processors. Now there wasn't much more detail given apart from the fact that we'll see this update ship for Windows Insiders next month. That's right, in November, Surface Pro X will have support for 64-bit apps and I can't wait to try it out. Now if you have a Surface Pro X, Make sure that you sign up for the Windows Insiders program to get this update and try it out. If you saw my previous reviews on the Surface Pro X, in fact, if you saw any reviews on the Surface Pro X, you'd be familiar with the fact that there are a lot of limitations associated with ARM processors and this particular device. While it's a brilliant device, and by the way, I've got a 10 month review on that just dropping very soon, it is hampered by the complications of not being able to run all of the apps that you'd normally expect to run on any other Windows machine. Emulation for apps that were written for Intel x86 processors is built into Windows 10 on ARM, but currently that's limited to only apps that were written and compiled in 32-bit. And that leaves us without the ability to run many apps that are compiled for 64-bit Windows. For example, I'd like to be able to run Adobe Lightroom, Photoshop, and Ultima Kakura on my Surface Pro X, but currently they won't work. And for that reason, it's been really difficult to recommend the Surface Pro X to people unless they're really power users. Because most people wouldn't know the difference between a 32-bit app and a 64-bit app. And nor should they need to. It's really only a thing that matters to geeks like me, and maybe you. Now, people looking to buy a Surface Pro X should be able to just buy it based on the form factor and what it can do rather than some deep technical specifications. So this announcement means that those complications will disappear very soon. And we don't know what the performance will be like yet, so stay tuned for an update on that. But almost all of the 32-bit apps on my Surface Pro X run so well that you wouldn't know what's going on under the hood. And we'd have to assume that 64-bit apps will run the same, if not better. Time will tell. We'll leave a link to this announcement in the description below. And if you wanna see how this update plays out, well, subscribe to this channel. And hit that bell so that you get notifications of our weekly Surface Pro videos. Oh.